Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are talking about a brand new series, series 8, where we are learning arithmetic progressions. Friends, this is episode number 3, and today we are going to take a look at how do we find out the first few terms of an arithmetic progression if we are given the first term and the common difference. So we are saying this is part 1 because this is the first part where we are taking a look at solving some of the questions on arithmetic progressions. So as we go along in this where in this series, we are going to probably have maybe five, six, seven, eight parts over which we are going to take a look at all kinds of arithmetic progression questions and how do we solve them. So friends, I hope that you are following us along at risingpearl.com. The last two episodes we spent time on taking a look at what is an arithmetic progression, what is a first term, what is a common difference, and what is the general form of expressing an arithmetic progression. So friends, let's take a look at some of these types of questions and more importantly, how do we solve them. So the first question goes like this. Write the first five terms of an arithmetic progression. AP is abbreviated form for arithmetic progression. Given the first term and the common difference. So let's say the first term is given as 2. And common difference is given as 3. So if this is the question, how do we find out the first five terms? So the first term is obviously A, which is given as 2. The second term is A2. We write it this way. We saw that in the last episode. So A subscript 2. So we find this by taking the first term and adding common difference to it. So the first term is 2 and common difference is 3. So we simply will add like this. 2 plus 3 is 5. Similarly, to get the third term, we will take the second term and we will add common difference to it. So the third term, so second term is 5, plus common difference is 3, 5 plus 3 is 8. So the fourth term, similarly will be, we take the third term, and we add common difference to it, to get the fourth term. So third term is 8, plus common difference is 3, so this will be 11. And finally, let's probably do it here, the fifth term, because we want to find out the first five terms. So we take a look at the fourth term, and we add common difference to it. And this will be fourth term is 11, plus we add 3, and we get 14. So in other words, our series, our, our arithmetic progression series will look like, first term is 2, second term is 5, third term is 8, fourth term is 11, fifth term is 14. So this will be the answer. If we have to write out the first five terms of an arithmetic progression where the first term is 2 and the common difference is 3, this will be our answer. So one very quick point I would like to make, friends, is as you, as you go on to find out you know, uh, subsequent terms, you notice that we take the last term and we add the common difference, right? So it's very important to not make mistakes because somehow if you would have made a mistake in finding out A2, the second term, because third term is second term plus D, if your second term is wrong, your third term will be wrong. So if your third term is wrong, your fourth term will be wrong and so on and so forth. So it's very important not to make any kind of silly mistakes and keep this in mind, right? Let's take a look at some more examples. Now, again, let's find out the first five terms of an AP. And let's say this time our first term is given as maybe minus 3. And the common difference is given as how about we take 1 by 2. We don't make it easy on ourselves, right? <laughs> All right. So the first term obviously is minus 3. Second term, A2, is going to be first term plus common difference. So the first term is minus 3 plus common difference is 1 by 2. So if we solve this, we will get 2 as our denominator. And we have 1 here. So 1, 2s are 2. So 2 times 3 is minus 6 plus 1. So this will be minus 5 by 2. So this is our second term. Now the third term will be our second term. Second term plus d. So the second term is minus 5 by 2, minus 5 by 2, plus 1 by 2. 
So this one will be, so 2 is a denominator and we will get minus 5 plus 1 or this will be minus 4 by 2. So we can leave it like this or you can write it as minus 2. So I'm going to keep it like minus 4 by 2 and you will see why because my fourth term will be my third term plus d. So my third term is minus 4 by 2 minus 4 by 2 plus 1 by 2. See the reason I left it instead of minus 2 cancelling it out and writing this as minus 2 so I wanted to leave it like this. It will be easy to take the LCM. So here we will have 2 as denominator. So this will be minus 4 plus 1 or in other words this will be minus 3 by 2. And similarly the fifth term, the final term will be minus 3 by 2, minus 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2. This will be, so denominator is 2 and numerator is minus 3 plus 1. It will be minus 2 by 2. So if we have to write out all the terms, so we start with minus 3. Our first term is minus 3. So we write minus 3. Second term is minus 5 by 2. So we write minus 5 by 2. The third term, now we can write it as minus 2, minus 2. Fourth term is minus 3 by 2. And the last term, we can write it as minus 1. So this is going to be the first five terms of a arithmetic progression whose first term is minus 3 and common difference is 1 by 2. Let's take a look at one more example. So in this case, how about we start at, let's say something like A equals, say, 2.25. Let's go take a decimal number and say our common uh, difference for this arithmetic series if it is given as minus 0 0.25. So if the first term is this and if the common difference is this, how can we find out the first five terms? We will again, you know, use the same way. First term is given as 2.25, right? So the second term will be first term plus common difference. So the com so first term is 2.25 and then we will add minus 0.25. So if we do that, we, we are going to get, so 2.25 minus 2.5 will be 2. So our third term will be equal to second term A2 plus common difference. So the second term is 2 as we just have found out plus common difference is minus 0.25. So if we solve this, we will get 2 minus 0.25 will be 1.75. So similarly, A4 will be A3 plus D. That is, A3 is this minus 0.25, that will be 1.50. And A 5, which is a fifth term because we want to find out the first five terms, it will be A4 plus D or 1.5 minus 0.25 which will be 1.25. So if you have to write out all the terms for our arithmetic, the first five terms for our arithmetic progression, so we started off with 2.25, the next term was 2, the next term after that was 1.75, 1.75, then we had fourth term was 1.5 and the final term or the fifth term I should say is 1.25. So if we started out with 2.25 as first term and the common difference is given as minus 0.25, so these will be the first five terms of that arithmetic progression.